Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangelosi and that's a video tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. Today in this citizen tutorial we'll talk about stereoscopic rendering with 3ds Max. As you see we have a simple composition inside Fusion because we'll see how to manage the frames rendered with 3ds Max inside the composing software to understand how to see the stereo stuff and how to manage it. So we'll have different ways to manage the same project. For this project, we'll use a scene we made for a past tutorial. Uh, you see that's an animation for the blood cells moving in a vessel. And we'll see three different ways. Uh, you see that the first one is, for example, using V-Ray with its uh, stereoscopic tools to create stereoscopic rendering. And we'll see how to manage it with its parameters and how to manage the rendering output to be used in Fusion. But we'll see also how to use, for example, the stereo cam for uh, uh, a, a script tutorial, a script uh, developer that develop a tool to manage the camera. So you see that's simple camera as a series of tool to manage the stereoscopic rendering and preview. And we'll take care about also how to manage the stereo if we have no tools inside 3ds Max. So we'll see a really simple, basic way to introduce stereoscopic rendering using more cameras for the left and the right hive. So let's explore the stereoscopic tools for 3ds Max with this introduction to stereo rendering with the Autodesk main 3D software. 